I'm sure you will have seen the really sad news about John Moxley. Yeah, really sad, tonight. yeah. Um, we've all got great memories, but I mean, what will your memories be of him? Well, first and foremost, it, it is uh, incredibly sad. And as a football club, we send our um, our sympathy and condolences to, to the family. Um, I think you, what you think of straight away is is growing up and um, and the iconic voice, um, you know that we we heard game in, game out, season in, season out that seemed to last for forever. So it's sad that that's no longer with us. And um, I can't say I, I ever had the honour of, of of meeting him myself, but um, I'm probably in the minority there in 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 football. But yeah, it's incredibly sad. I think the like you said, the first thing you think about is. It, for me, it was being a youngster and um, match of the day, and um, you know, was was uh, was all about the commentary, wasn't it? Then because we didn't maybe get as much football on the TVs as we do now. Um, so yeah, really sad, but um, I'm sure his um, his work in football will be uh, remembered um, rightfully. The voice will live on forever. Anyway. Ah, for sure, yeah, for um, sure. What about your situation here? Then? I mean, look. Looking at the injury list, it seems mm. to get longer every week. I think it's 11 first team players now, which mm. is more than anyone else in the Premier League. Have you got any update? Is there any lights at the end of that time? Oh, there's always light. You know, it's um, we, we're not we're not despondent here. We're not we're not uh, negative. We we've had a great training week, um, and um, yeah, of course you'd like a different situation with player availability, but it's not the case. So, um, not going to dwell on it too much. Um, Serge has added. To the injury list, he's going to be out for um, three to four weeks as well. So um, yeah, it's just just one of them things that we constantly have to to get on with. But I I repeat and I say it every week, we would like it to be a different situation. But um, my focus is just on the guys who can uh, play at West Ham on on Saturday, and I'm not thinking about too too much else. And um, it's unfortunate, but um, it is what it is, and we get on with it. What's the issue with Serge? A uh, calf. Got a calf strain, yeah. Has there been any update on the situation with Steve Cook? I know the club was going to an appeal. Have you heard back? No, we've not. No, we're still hopeful. And um, if uh, something comes through before the uh, before the weekend, then you know that could could help. So um, we've got our, our fingers crossed still. Would you have expected something by now? It's been going on quite a while. Um, yeah, you'd hope, but um, it's like I said, we'll 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 stick to the plans and the process. Sorry, and then see what comes of it. It does mean you're slightly short in the centre half area, but mm. Joe Worrell's got his place back again. It's something he's had to do a couple of times this season. Club captain, obviously, been here for a mm. long time. Boyhood Forest man mm. as well. I mean, how did he react in those moments in the season when you had to take him out the side? And is that kind of the mark of him, like the way you've seen him respond? Yeah, and he's, he's he's reacted as you would want any player to do. That's not starting a game or or two or three or whatever it was is um, not be happy. But at the same time, be professional and um, and accept it. And the players don't always have to agree with with decision making. Um, but what what players can never do is drop their their standards and their they say the professionalism. More important to me, their the commitment to to the guys who are playing and the the um, the great, the good, and togetherness of of the group. So so Joe was a good example of of that. Um, I'm more focused on now that that he he has played the last game and. Um, is likely to play in the next game, and it's just about looking looking forward. And um, I'm not really one for looking back. I'm, I'm I'm one for learning as you go along, and and um, you know taking things for what they are, and good and bad, using it to make you better and stronger. Um, so we're just we're just looking forward with all of the boys, and um, really just focused on on preparation for for West Ham. It's going to be it's a tough game, away game. Our away form is. Is nowhere near what we would hope and have liked it to have been, and it's something we have to address. So, um, so that's only where our focus is. Looking forward. On that, the, the balance between points home and away. I think mm. Nineteen points at home, six. Of yeah, home. yeah. Is that the next stage of development? Definitely. Of yeah, definitely. It's something that um, I I will always openly talk about um, things that we need to improve on, um, because if you don't, it means you 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 shirking away from. Um, the demands of what the Premier League is and um, it's no secret and um, I don't want any elephants in the room our way form is something that has to improve and um, I believe me I'm talking about it more with the players than they are with each other than what we are to you guys you know it's something that we really want to turn around and we have to turn around so we've got an opportunity now like every away game to try and 
improve it and um, all focus and commitment in, in doing that. Thank you. You too. Colin? Yeah. Um, when you, when you talk about that away form, um, in your team meetings and things like that, but what, what are the players saying to you? What are you saying to them about what the reasons are for, for that difference? Well, it's not so. Again, it's not so much about looking back. It's about looking at what what we we want to do in in a game. And every game is different anyway in terms of the preparation and the stadiums that you go to. And there's always context to to a game. So um, now it's 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 difficult to talk about it in one category. I think it's it's like I said, it changes from from week to week, but uh, or game to game. But in general, um, it's something that. If we are going to develop and improve, is something that we are going to have to get better at. Is is picking more points up away, away from home. So um, we like the challenge. You know, we 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 um, we like um, you know to tackle things that that need tackling, and and playing away from home is is definitely one of one of them. And by the way, it doesn't mean that our our own form is going to continue unless we continue to work even hard harder at that. So step by step, you know, constantly. Throwing challenge, and it's not—it's—it's it's, it's all of us. It's me first. It's the staff. It's the players. Always looking to improve on the things that need improving, and and not getting complacent in the things that are that are going okay. And um, you know, we want a high-performing culture here. We want a demanding culture. And um, for me, part of that is um, addressing the things that need to get better. Uh, the other challenge we talked about right at the beginning is that injury list. So looking at that from the positive point of view, if you like, have you been pleased with what it's told you about? The strength and depth you've got now. Mm. In fact, the team can Well, I really believe in the group of players, and I always will do. You know, um, because um, if I'm not the first one to believe in them, why should any anybody else? So, um, so I'm always of that mindset anyway. And as um, soon as we see which players are available for a game and what we decide to go with, we get they get full concentration and 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 full sort of prep preparation. So, um, so yeah, I mean, like I said, injuries are. Uh, how it can go sometimes, and um, it's not what you want to happen. But you know, it's it's something that we we're having to contend with at the moment. But um, but you know, we can still put a team out on the weekend. We can still go and play well, and you know, we can still win. And uh, that's all what we're focusing on. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. Uh, hey. Just a few uh, follow-up questions for myself. Um, of course, a lot has been made about the away form, and it's something that you're really working hard to address. Mm. But how are you working to address that, and how is it different from working on the home form without that being something? Honestly, we're not. Talk, we're, it's not like. It's not like okay, this week's an away game, lads. We're going to do something completely different compared to a, a home game. Like I said, there's always context to any game, who you play in, time of season, um, and with an away game, there's maybe a, sometimes a little bit more context because of travel and stadium and all that sort of stuff, but. Um, no, it's 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 not like I said. There's not a few things in particular that we're really focusing in on. We we're really trying to stick to our plan, um, but deliver it better away from home. And and that's basically as as simple as it is. Let's not make it too complicated. Apart from doing the basics better, you know, play with belief, play with play with confidence, and um, and play our way. And if we do that, home or away, we know we give ourselves the best chance of winning games. We just need to do a bit better away from home. And next up is West Ham. What are you expecting from the trip down there? Well, a really tough game. I see a, um, I see a team of really good players. I see a really experienced and good manager who I have a lot of time and respect for. Um, and um, and it's a Premier League game, you know. So uh, uh, away from home as well. So it's um, going to be a tough game. Um, they have some real dangerous players. They're a real dangerous opponent. And um, it's something that you know. Again, we have to prepare for in the right way. Focus on ourselves. Respect. You know uh, what what they give you in a game, and um, like in the previous question, do our best to to deliver the plan as best we can. And given the the strength of their squad and the players they've got, like you say, really set up the team. David Moyes has been there for mm. a good number of seasons now. Is it quite surprising to see them not doing as well as they perhaps many expected to see? I can't say I've thought about that too much. To be fair, like I said to you, we, we when we prepare for a game, we don't um, we don't pay too much attention to 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 form or league positions or anything like that we look at the team and see them at their best uh, and West Ham have got some well a lot of really good players that have good Premier League experience and have, and have delivered you know on a regular basis so uh, we we for sure have got to be really ready to go and play the game because it's going to be a tough one